Hey guys, so this was supposed to be my catch-up video for not having done anything since Tuesday, but I guess this would be better suited to just be kind of like a what happened to you video. Just as a warning, this video might get kind of TMI-y and kind of graphic, so if you want to know, keep watching. If you don't want to know, keep watching. I don't really care. I started my period on Monday. Monday, I was nauseous all day. Then on Tuesday, I woke up at around 10 o'clock and I had some stomach pains. And I rolled over and I went back to sleep and I didn't go to class. Then I woke up at uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And I had a lot sharper stomach pains and I was really nauseous. And I was worried that um, since I hadn't eaten anything all day, that I was nauseous because I hadn't eaten any food. I'm nauseous, maybe I need to put food in my stomach. So I went across the street to the dining hall and I sat down and I ate, I love, it was actually honeydew melon and I love melon. And I ate like five pieces of it and I went, oh no, I can't, I can't do this. So I went back into my room, laid down on my bed and the pain was terrible. It was in like the, kind of in between like my underwear line and my belly button. It was in the front and to the right a little bit. But it was also in the front. It wasn't just like, just on the right where you would think, oh, maybe this is my appendix or something. I didn't expect it to be my appendix. The stomach pains, I thought that they were cramps, like menstrual cramps since I was on my period. But I never get cramps that bad. My period is always really light. And usually I get like back pains and it, it's never anything really serious. My plan was to just go back to my dorm room and just try and sleep, sleep it off, I guess. And I couldn't. I was like writhing around and like it, it hurt so bad. It was incredibly painful. And so I called my mom and I was like, what do I do? And she was like, okay, well maybe just take it easy or whatever. And then I was like, okay, I'm just going to try and sleep or whatever. I keep saying, or whatever. I'm sorry about that. Then the pain was so terrible. I, in my brain, I was like, I actually can't handle this. Like, and I think I said out loud, I was like, my pain tolerance is not high enough for this. Like, I can't handle this. So I called her again, and she was like, go to the hospital. Like, I don't know what's going on with your body. You usually don't have cramps this bad. Go to the hospital. And I was like, okay. I will go to the hospital. Well, happy Vlogmas. I am literally in so much pain that I don't know what to do, and I am going to go to the hospital. So, uh, that's the plan for today. My really good friend Haley, I called her, and she was at work, but she left work, and uh, she came and drove me to the hospital. I get admitted into the ER at about 4, and then they do, like, an ultrasound and a bunch of blood tests and pee test and all this stuff. Uh, Haley's with me the whole time. And um, they determined that it is appendicitis. A normal appendix is actually four millimeters, which is so, so tiny. I did not expect that to be. It's That's really small, four millimeters. And my appendix was nine millimeters, so twice the size-ish. And um, I went in for surgery at about... 10 o'clock at night. So most people get released the next day, the next day being yesterday on Wednesday. Because uh, today's Thursday, right? I woke up and I was feeling great. There was no pain. I was like, they took it out and there's all well, the pain is gone. This is fantastic. Mrs. Jules taught me how to knit. Like, I was having a good old time. She snapped a picture. Most of you probably saw it on Facebook. There's a picture of me like smiling and knitting. Um, that was because I had numbing cream on the incision site. Uh, I didn't know that there was numbing cream on there because I wasn't on any like medication. I wasn't taking anything for the pain because there was no pain because I, there was numbing cream. I was having a good old time until about 11 when it started to wear off. Then I was in pain and um, they gave me some like Vicodin and that didn't work and then they waited a little bit more, gave me more Vicodin, and that didn't work. And it was about like 4 o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. And my pain level was about like a 6 because the numbing cream had worn off completely. 
and the Vicodin that they were giving me wasn't working, like it didn't relieve the pain at all. So then the doctor told me that she didn't want to release me until we could get my pain level under control. So that's why I wasn't released the next day is because my pain wasn't under control. So I just stayed another night and then the next morning, which is today the 5th, I was released. Recovery time, I have to stay in um, the surrounding area for a week and I have to go in for a follow, follow up, a follow checkup. Uh oh, words. Just to make sure everything's going smoothly, going as planned, all that kind of stuff. I appreciate everybody's um, like text messages and phone calls and Facebook comments and prayers and everything. I really appreciate everything. Um, uh, I, I, there was a lot of love shown towards me over the past couple days. Um, just everyone was blowing up my phone and, and stuff and I really, really appreciated it. It was very, very sweet. As of right now, I'm still in pain. Um, not a bunch of pain. It's just really, really sore because they had to slice me open. So it's really sore. I can't use my stomach muscles. So like getting up out of a sitting position, I need like help from somebody else and um, etc. Just it it's I can't really move. can't walk at a normal pace at all. I can't laugh. So I was just going to spend my recovery time watching YouTube videos, but they made me laugh. So now I'm going to knit, which thank you so much, Mrs. Zulis, for teaching me how to knit. It really, really took my mind off of the pain and helped me focus on something else. It is wonderful, so thank you. Um, I'm staying with Emmy and Haley, and they're my really good friends, and they are going to take care of me and just let me hang out at their house for a little bit while I recover. Um, and for all of you wondering what's going to happen for me about finals, because this week is dead week, and then next week is finals week, because of the incision site and my pain and the fact that I can't walk at a normal pace or um, walk for very long before I get nauseous or just really tired, it's just walking around is really tiring. Me trying to walk to classes would is just out of the question. Like I can't walk to my classes. Also, um, the pain. I have to take hardcore like medicine to relieve the pain, like like Vicodin and that kind of medicine. I have to take that stuff to relieve the pain. And it makes my brain very fuzzy, and um, I can't focus on school, or like, I, I just can't focus. I can't focus my brain when I'm on the medication, so it would be irrelevant to go to a class when I wouldn't be able to focus on the material. That being said, the doctor said I'm not allowed to go to one of my classes or go to school at all for at least a week because I'm supposed to stay inside and like sleep and just focus on like recovering and stuff. Well, in a week, the campus shuts down because finals will be over and it's going to be time for Christmas break. So there's a big dilemma over how I'm going to how I'm gonna take my finals or finish up my finals, but, um, and I have to work that out with my professors. Um, the school knows that I had surgery. I'm not worried about it. Um, whatever happens, happens. Like, it'll be fine. Either I'll take them sometime over the winter break online, or I'll take them when I get back from school in January. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'll work something out with my teachers. I'm not stressed out about it. Everything will be fine, so don't worry about it. And I'm probably going to take a nap right now because I'm pretty sleepy.
So thank you for all your love and prayers and support. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to try to keep making my little Merry Vlogmas videos. I don't know how interesting they're going to be. There might just be like three second videos of me like sleeping and then eating and then sleeping some more. I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. Um, thank you for, uh, I don't know, wanting to be updated. I don't know. This has been uh, a journey. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos uh, and for just checking up on me. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys later. Merry Vlogmas. Bye.